Okay, I've actually had this clip for a while now and I just never used it in my videos. I'm on my bed today with my ring light, you know, I'm just trying to find a good space for me to record because I don't have one in my apartment really, like it really gets me mad that there's no good lighting and right now it's also kind of cloudy. Hopefully this works out. Um, and in today's video, oh, I should probably introduce myself. Hi, my name is Dani aka Mox Eve and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I got hired as a sterile processing technician with no experience. Uh, so I'll get right into it. I work at a hospital, obviously, and I was previously working there for a year before I started applying for new jobs because it's kind of like recommended and oh, I guess it also looks good um, to stay somewhere for a year. And actually with this job, you yeah, had to stay for there for a year unless you got approval for an early release. So I started looking at other jobs. The role I am right now, it's actually called anesthesia assistant because my hospital has a few different campuses. At one, you need a certification to be a sterile processing technician. And the campus where I'm working at, you really don't. And then that's also how, why they also changed the name of it. But I believe in a few years, my coworkers, they were talking about how they're gonna change it to where you're gonna need your certification. So role is called a different name, but the job duties are basically the same thing as a sterile processing technician. And yeah, basically I worked there for a year. I applied at like literally 50 plus jobs at my, like my employer, my like my, the company. And I only got three interviews and I only got those three interviews in literally the same month and got same month and like within a week I accepted this role. I also got trained for about like I hired in eight in March. I finished orientation next week, so March, April, May, June. Four months of training is what I had. So yeah, that's about it it um i would also like to mention that some of my past work experiences was working at a gas station as a cook and at dairy queen that's all i really gotta say you know i went in for a job shadow i mean i applied interviewed went in for a job shadow they offered me the job right after the job shadow and i was like sure like this was a more higher paying job and i thought i was gonna like it and like you know i hate it but surprise i do have a new job i'm starting next in two weeks so cross my fingers i like it more i'll go into the pros and cons of being a serial processing technician aka what my job is is an anesthesia assistant the same thing and so i'll start with the pros first um kind of a set schedule it is fairly easy honestly the core i am basically the core is where they have all the instruments where you do all the sterilization, you know, organizing the trays and that kind of stuff is fairly small compared to like other ones. What my coworkers have said, like literally, this my room is fairly small, so it's almost like the size of like three of my rooms, and it's narrowed. Like the little desk or tray area is only four people. It is ridiculously small for the area. The only surgeries they do up there are ophthalmologies, which are eyes, and then urologies, which involves like the the bladder penises and they also do oms which is like dental stuff um we, so we just organize their stuff it's a set schedule fairly easy you're around the same people my job also provides a scrub so that's a plus on there um we don't have to clock out for your 30 minute break i guess but you know it's just automatically there uh let's see what else i kind of like about it i guess that's about it cons i really hate the people there like literally, I think that, you know, the people that you work with really make a big impact with how you like your job. So I hate the people there. It's really repetitive with the same surgeries. You know, after a first few weeks, I was like, I'm not going to like this. In the long run, I literally saw myself getting like done with there. I was going to tell myself August was going to be my cutoff date, but it is on June and I'm getting a new job. So, you know, repetitive. The people I work with, it's a lot of standing too. A lot of standing. We do have these mats and, you know, kind of like bending over, not really bending over, but, but I guess when you're in decon decontain where you, the instruments come straight out of surgery where you have to sometimes like, you know, manually wash them before putting them into the washer that, you know, you're kind of bending over doing that scrubbing and stuff. So that, you know, being in there, it's kind of tiring for the whole day coming in contact with like blood like bodily fluids obviously you know i didn't really think about that but it's not as gross as i thought you know other people have said it's a fairly clean decontamination room just because it's not really like i feel like the most blood 
I've seen is from OMS Dental, which basically comes in a big container and it's kind of disgusting. And also IPP, which is like a penile implant. It's like really disgusting seeing all that blood. But you know, what really got to me was the repetitiveness of the job and the people, like the environment was really not good for me. But other than that, I guess if you kind of are looking into this career path, this kind of job title, it's a really good way to step your foot into the door of like becoming or working at a hospital. Like with this job, there's an opportunity to do Euronav where you're kind of controlling the machine for, for biopsies. That was another thing that I was kind of interested in, but I'm not going to stay here long enough for them to train me on that. But really having that, being able to do that them train you and then you not having to go to school another good thing to add to your resume and that's what i plan on doing with this job you know having this experience really looks good on a resume you know dealing with that like dealing with all the instruments that sort of stuff you know getting familiar with the terminology in the medical field i think it looks good on a resume you know this job is re isn't really for me i'll like there's a, a lady that's been there since the floor opened so like about 20 years she's been there and other people have done the job for a while it's like but that's not for me like i like change i you know, i like change i like a better working environment like i literally do not want to go to work some days in the morning like the people to just this one lady oh my god i absolutely cannot stand so it's like and it's only 10 of us there's 10 of us working all together every day in a small room so you know how that goes but I believe if you know if you kind of are interested just comment down below some more questions I'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge it's because I've been there for literally four or five months but I think it's a good way to step your foot into this career path you know kind of work your way up kind of see where it gets to you but that's all I really have hopefully you guys liked it hopefully this microphone worked but that's what I really got for this video kind of like a quick well I think I, I felt like I was talking fast so really I apologize if I was talking fast, but that's all I really got to say about this job. You know, serial processing technician, fairly easy. It pays well. Um, right now I'm making like $19 an hour. Fairly, okay, so I'll do a whole overview. Fairly easy, really repetitive, um, the job duties. The set schedule though, so that's really nice. You know, there's only four different start times, three different start times. Oh, and another thing is also a lot of like overtime, literally. A lot of people have been like, our last shift ends at six, but you know, people have stayed there until seven and eight just to wait on the washer to get done. It's because the surgeries, they'll last a while or depending what time they start, unfortunately. So if you like overtime, it's good. But for me, I'm working my eight hours and that's it. I'm done, peace out, I don't care. You're not getting more of me. That's another downside for it. Hopefully you guys like this video. Quick overview of my job that I've been doing for the past few month, months. And I'm so glad I'm finally leaving. Um, comment down below if you're more interested. Have questions. Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. I kind of wanted to do this video for a while. And of course subscribe because my goal for this year is to reach a thousand subscribers. And I'm not even at 100, but you know, I'm having that positive mindset. I've already accomplished one of my goals is posting every Sunday. So that's been going pretty well. Yep, that's all I really got for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.